Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to clone yourself, another person or maybe objects in your footage. First I will show you how to do it in the studio version of DaVinci Resolve and then how to do it in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Very important message, when you film this you need to film it on a tripod because all the clips need to have exactly the same frame and set your camera on manual mode because when the light changes or something you will have different settings so you need to adjust more in the color grading and with the manual settings you can do one color grading and apply to every clip. So for the studio version I've got three clips prepared, one lying on the bench, the other one I'm sitting on the back and the third one I'm standing here. First I will think about which clip is the easiest to mask out. In my example it's this one, so this will be the clip on the top. Then these two clips, I think this one would be easier to mask myself out, so this will be the second clip. And this clip is the most complicated because my legs are behind the bench, so this will be the bottom clip. Like this I stack them here, so on the top is this one, very easy to mask out. The second one I'm lying here is pretty much easy to mask out and the last one is the hardest one. And with the clips stacked like that I open up the first clip in the fusion page, hit shift and spacebar and type in magic mask. I draw a line over myself or in your case maybe an object or another person like so. Click on better, check everything but that looks very good to me, track it back and forth and your first clip is already masked out. So we do the same with the second clip, open it in the fusion page. Once again, shift spacebar, magic mask, draw a line over your subject. Now you see we need to be more careful with this clip, so just go on the minus here and deselect everything you don't want to have masked out like this looks pretty good to me drag it back and forth and like this you've got yourself cloned in the same image in pretty much no time so for the free version of davinci resolve i selected these two clips lay them above each other and this time we go to the color page i highly recommend to do the color grading before you do the masking so you can go to the last node, hit option S or alt S, this creates a new node. Then go down here to the windows tab, select the pen. And now because one object is here and the other one here, in this case it's me, not an object, just create a rough mask around this tree like this. You can't see a result now, this is because we haven't an alpha channel created. So just go over here to your node tree hit the right mouse button, add alpha output and connect the blue square to the blue circle. And now it's cut out. The blue line is for the alpha channel and the alpha channel makes a transparent background for everything you cut out. When you go back to the edit page, it looks like this. So we've got me two times here in the image and I want to add myself lying on the bench as well. This is a bit more time consuming, but it will work very well. Here once again add an alpha output with a new node, windows tab, pen tool and now we need to be way more precise because I'm standing here and here on the right side as well. So here we can cut out very roughly, then here we need to be a bit more precise but I think it should work like that. Over here, I think this should work as well. Don't go under the bench because somewhere around here are my feet. And like this. So. And you see here it's very, very narrow with this, with my hand here and my foot. You see in the free version you need to be a bit more precise but it works as well as long as you don't overlap your subjects or your persons you want to cut out. So I hope this tutorial was helpful so have fun cloning your objects.